Hey guys, Andrew McComb here from Outlier TV, where we celebrate difference to make a difference, as we share inspiring stories of ordinary people doing extraordinary things with their businesses and or their lives. Today, I'm gonna to be speaking with Patrick Jennon. He's the founder of Rywasser Resort, and he's also their chief culture whisperer. He's gonna be my guest on this week's Outlier TV episode, being released in the next few days. Okay, let's go and meet Patrick. Patrick, it's customary on Outlier that we put you out of your comfort zone with some out of the comfort zone questions. Sounds good. It's our way of allowing the viewer to get to know you a little better before our interview in the next few days, our okay. full Outlier interview. So, are you keen to do that? Sure, I'd love it. Okay, it's gonna look like this. We've got 10 questions yep. in three minutes. You've got to answer the first thing that comes to mind as quick as, it can, as you can. Okay. Okay. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay, you took a year off to travel. What do you remember the most? Oh, I remember being in Kruger National Park uh, in an event where we were just sitting on and there was a pride of lions on a rock and all of a sudden we heard this, um, this sound of the tires emptying out and the lions all stood up. They thought it was a snake and uh, they had just put new tires on and we had to change the tires. It was dark at night and the guy had to go out there and the pack of lions were all around us. What an adventure. Wow. So which country makes the best food? Uh, France. Yeah, for sure. Why? Well, I'm from France and I've spent a lot of time there. And so it's, it's, it's steeped in tradition for me. Escargot? I love it all. Frog legs, escargot, all the, all the old stuff and all the new stuff. Champagne? I'm not a big champagne fan, and actually I like the Tasmanian champagne or sparkling wine because we can't say champagne, so I'm not a huge champagne fan. Would you rather work or travel? Those words are synonymous to me. There's no way that they're not connected. I mean, I, you know, they'd be both. I would be working while I travel. Very good. Steamboat Springs in the USA or Tabiuni, Fiji? What's your preference? <laughs> Have both. Have both. I actually have a house up there and a house here, so I can't pick that. You know, the beauty of, of, of stuff like questions like this is that leaving is just as important as arriving in a place like Tavuni and Steamboat. Having the mix of the mountains and the snow and, and all that goes with it, the outdoors in, in, you know, in Colorado is just as pleasurable than coming to Fiji. So it's having that, that break between these things that makes it so. Sounds sensational. So, Patrick, if I told you 10 years ago you'd have one of the best, one of the world's best private retreats here in Fiji, what would you have said? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this has been in the works for a long time mentally, and I've been preparing for it. Um, yeah, I might have said probably not, but I, but, 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 you know, I had some inklings of wanting to go this way and, and sharing this experience with people. Okay. Head or heart in business, what's the most important? A uh, heart, no doubt about it. Heart is the most, exp it, it, I mean, you need the head to do the heart, you need the heart to do the head. So, but I think human connection is just, is everything. I mean, you know, life's too short. Life is just too short to, to not be happy. And so um, at the end of the day, I think the heart is up front. Favorite activity at Raiwasa? Don't tell my wife, it's probably spearfishing with the locals, but, uh, and interacting with the sharks, I love that. You've got a pretty good reef out there. We've got a lot of great reefs, and but there's a lot of great stuff. The fishing is fantastic, and yeah, so it's def and and diving too. Okay, so why is Fiji the happiest place on earth, and what could we learn from the Fijians? Look, uh, it's the Fijian people that make Fiji the happiest place on earth because you know they're just they're just amazing people. Um, I've known them for many many years, and it's it's hard to put in. Um, it's, it's hard to put in, in just a couple words, but Fiji time, the fact that, you know, let things roll off you and don't stress out about it. Stress, stress is a self-inflicted uh, disease that we give ourselves. So they're stress-free. Hey, wouldn't you be stress-free if every, every morning you woke up and saw this view? Food is abundant and, you know, people are happy and it's a community and a village and, and, they, lo and they, love, they love their lives. Okay, culture whisperer. What's a culture whisperer? Uh, you know, we've, you've seen that movie about the horse whisperer and, and uh, I just thought that title would be so much better on my business card. What a culture whisperer for me is, um, is, is the understanding that you could be the instigator of a culture, but at the end, you're just the whisperer. You're gonna just whisper to people what the culture is and they're gonna make the decision. Just like a horse whisperer doesn't control the horse. He, he whispers to the horse. He's basically connecting on a, on, a, on, a, on a 
transformational level with the animal who is then calmed down by it. So, so I love that. Are leaders born or made? That's a good question. I got to say born, but it doesn't mean that you can't, if you have the right attitude and the right desire to learn and always learn that you can't get way better at it. I mean, uh, absolutely. Okay. What's one thing you couldn't live without and why? Oh, well, obviously my family would be the, 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 the biggest reason. I mean, I love my two kids and my wife so much. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's enough that's said, that. huh? Yeah, enough said. What's your def definition of being rich or wealthy or both? Look, uh, material wealth is an amazing thing. And what it buys for you is time and availability to do what you love. Uh, and that's really what it is. Time, time is the true wealth of our lives. I mean, I feel so sorry for so many of the people who are just doing nine to five wishing for the weekend. I work on the weekends. I take a Monday off if I want to go fishing. I take, you know, I mean, I, I do. If there's anything that I hope my children will learn from me educating and passing them on is that find a job where you, you own your time. So be an entrepreneur. It doesn't mean that you're going to, you know, that you're going to have a lot of time, but it's, the ability to say, I don't have to do something mm. is freeing. It's totally liberating. It frees up choice, yeah. doesn't it? Choice, yeah. So if there's one person in the world you'd like to meet, who would it be and why? Wow, that is a great question. Um, you know, I, <laughs> God, I'd, I'd have to go towards more of people um, that have a totally different view on the world even way deeper than me. I mean, like someone like the Dalai Lama or Sadhguru, or, you know, some of those Indian mystics, I think I'd be love to be in their presence just to be able to, to kind of see how I can take that level to, the, to my, uh, of, you know, meditation and deep thinking and relaxation to a totally different level. Fantastic. If you had one hour to live and you could share only one valuable lesson to workaholic CEOs of the world, what would it be? Spend more time with your family. For sure. I mean, we, you know, even though you think you have a great relationship with your family, the kids grow up fast. If you don't have time to connect with them, um, there's just a certain amount of time. And I was lucky enough to really connect with my kids during those formative years. Uh, I did it selfishly for me, but they were, they, they, you know, they got the benefit, you know, out of it. So, um, yeah, spend more time with the people that you love. What would you like to be remembered for? Changing people's lives. Just, you know, if I, if, if, you know, if I die and Richie says, you know, he was a great person, it's my general manager. Or if my kid said, you know, my dad, you know, was a great dad, that makes me happy. Sounds good to me. Thanks for coming on the Outlier Preview Show. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a great honor. Well, there it is, guys. We've now learned a little bit more about Patrick Jannon before our full Outlier TV episode is released in the next few days. Now, make sure you subscribe to the Outlier TV channel by clicking the link in the description below. And remember to click the bell icon so that I can notify you as soon as the episode is released. I'm Andrew McComb, and here's to living the outlier life outside of the comfort zone. I'll see you soon.